Good day. Today, let us get to know our Philippine national artist, Lucrecia Ortola. Are you familiar with the name Lucrecia Reyes Ortola? Lucrecia Faustina Reyes Ortola, also known as Lucrecia R. Ortola, is born on July 29, 1929, at Iloilo City. Her father is Leon S. Reyes, a colonel of the Philippine Constabulary, Brigadier General, and a military governor while her mother is Antonia Faustina, a registered nurse. Thelmacio Ortula is Lucrecia Ortula's husband, a businessman and 1950 DLSA Distinguished Historian Awardee. She graduated at Philippine Women's University and studied at San Francisco University for Dance Drama. She also studied at Martha Graham School of Modern Dance at University of California, Los Angeles and Hanyagi School of Dancing in Japan. She is also a Filipino choreographer, theater director, teacher, author, and researcher on ethnic dance. She was the founding director of the Pioneer Philippine National Folk Dance Company and was named National Artist of the Philippines for Dance in 1988. She was discovered for translating folk dance into the realm of theater and adapting indigenous dance tradition to the modern stage. One of Lucretia's famous works was the dancing of a Muslim princess called Sinkit. Her artworks circle around Philippine folks and ethnic or tribal dances as she used her knowledge of choreography to transform these dances into stage performances. Her passion was greatly influenced by her parents as she grew up amidst music and dance. Her father was an ardent lover of folk and ethnic art and she learned to appreciate distinct cultures of various ethnic groups. Pinta or Mangalay is also one of her famous artworks, which portrays the Philippine Muslims' deep relationship with the sea. Pagdiwata, a nine-day demonstration of ritual meant for the rice harvest and revolves around the Babaylan or priestess, is also one of her Kasha Ortola's famous artworks. Russia Ortola also won multiple awards for her great works. Known to her friends as Indai, Lucretia died on August 24, 1999 at the age of 74, leaving us all her artworks by hard works as legacy. We've reached the end of our topic. Thank you for listening. If you want to watch her artworks, you can visit it on YouTube or in the links here. Thank you. Who is Alice Reyes? She was born on October 14, 1942. Her mother's name is Adoracion Garcia, a voice teacher, while her father is Ricardo Reyes, who was once called Mr. Philippine Folk Dancer. She received the highest award in art, which is the Order of the National Artists of the Philippines by President Benigno Aquino III last June 20, 2014. At her very young age, she took up lessons in classic ballet under Rosalia Mariano while studying at Merrick Knoll College where she completed a Bachelor of Arts in History and Foreign Services. Soon after, she took up postgraduate studies at Ateneo de Manila University. She further trained under the guidance of Leonor Orasa Gokinko and Ricardo Casel of the Philippine Women University. In addition, she took up folk dance at Bayanian Philippine National Folk Dance Company. Thinking of deepening her professional studies, she went to America and enrolled more formal course in modern dance and jazz. In New York, she took the opportunity to take more formal studies at Sarah Lawrence College in Westchester County, New York. How did Alice Reyes become popular? She was chiefly responsible for popularizing contemporary dance with Alice Reyes Dance Company, which staged the first modern dance concert of the Culture Center of the Philippines Main Theater on February 1970. It was this company that later became Ballet Philippines. Alice Reyes' famous artworks are Amanda in 2017, Vision of War in 2017, 
itim aso at 2020 na examples in 2017, Tales of Manova at 2019, and Rama Hari at 2012. The common themes in her artwork revolves around contemporary dance, jazz, and ballet. Who influenced Alice Reyes to create such an artwork? Her father gives Alice Reyes such predestined for a life in dance. Example of Alice Reyes artwork. Tales of Manovo is a groundbreaking piece by national artist Alice Reyes, first mounted in 1977. It's a contemporary takes on the creation myth set to a vertical bulbs and pop rock score. Amanda is based on summer solstice by national artist of literature Nick Joaquin. The dance was among the first piece to explore the facets of Philippine lore and mythology through modern dance.